Hey everyone, this is Bami from NFT Music Info. I'm doing good, hope you are too. Got a very strange glow today, it's because I'm filming in the evening, so which I don't normally do. So yeah, it's um, yeah, odd things with the camera. So in this video today, I wanted to go through a map of all of the music NFT platforms and different companies out there currently from a recent tweet. So let's delve right in. Okay, so let's get started. So this is by Ben Brown, and he's amazing on Twitter, I have to say. And I just felt that it was really worthy of a video to talk about this, because we talk about Web3 music a hell of a lot on this channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so if you're interested. So this is the biggest map that is, that is ever created. And it's seven slides lo long. It took two nights, full nights, and, uh, you know, I just think it's really cool. So let's delve right in, shall we? So you can find Ben at musicben.eth at underscore Casper underscore underscore, I believe that is. And he's a contributor for music NFT analysis and the billboard, um, various things. And he's got his own newsletter as well. But, but look at this. This is great to see. So all of the curated platforms, and a lot of these have been featured on this channel, if you're interested in particular ones of these, there's playlists already set up with all of these already on. So we've got Catalog. Now, Catalog is a one of one music NFT platform. Very popular. And because they are one of ones, that, that's it. You know, once it's, once it's sold, it's sold unless it's on the secondary market. And Catalog has been going for some time. It's incredibly difficult for artists to get onboarded. However, it's just a great platform. So then there's sound.xyz, probably the most famous one right now for music, dedicated music NFTs, you know. They've got features such as golden eggs and, gold, yeah, golden eggs, I was going to say Easter eggs, but they are golden eggs. So let's say there's 20 NFTs, one of those will be in a raffle to actually win something exclusive. Sound.xyz is an amazing platform and they've literally just launched playlists. They've also literally just sorted out the secondary market as well called Sound Market, which is fantastic as well. So lots of exciting stuff going on in, in Sound XYZ, but also they are opening the platform up. So currently they're releasing their smart contracts uh, to developers and to musicians. And hopefully early next year, they will be actually launching it so that anybody can mint on Sound XYZ. And that is just so exciting because me as an artist, Cyber Monday, synth pop material, never had the chance to be on catalog or sound and it would you know i'd be over the moon if that was possible but um no such joy so the fact that it is opening up is going to be great there's serenade as well serenade did the brit award nfts serenade has been doing muse album lots of exciting stuff with serenade there's also glass which is more video music video focused um but well worth a mention there's Nifty Music, Super Massive, Super Rare, Gala Music that are into their, you know, Gala from their um, gaming segment. They've released Gala Music. Record Shop, again, another platform that I can't get onto, but I do really, really like Record Shop. The drops on there are amazing. If you like dance music, make sure you check out Record Shop. GameStop, LimeWire, which you might know back from the 90s in terms of... Um, <laughs> downloading peer-to-peer -peer music. Uh, they've created, recreated themselves in Web3. And there's one of as well, which is a good platform. All good platforms, I have to say. Now, if you're looking for royalty share platforms, there's Royal. And so you'll get like a percentage of, of royalties, which is really cool. There's also another block. And they reached out to me recently. Um, amazing platform. Not many drops yet, but definitely more on the way. Opulus is one that's been fairly quiet over the last year um, and that is linked to Ditto Music. So the founder of Ditto Music, um, he's launched Opulus, so that's ongoing. There's Nebula as well. Then there's all of these streaming discovery platforms, which is, I love these streaming discovery because it's all about discovery. Okay, you have to promote, you have to market. If you can get discovered, if you can get on an app or on a main page on latest track section or something, 
That makes a huge difference with sales for music NFTs. So there's Future Tape, which I've discovered, uh, featured on this channel. There's Ooh La La, which I've featured on this channel, and Spinamp in the last video. And these apps are great, you know. I can just literally log on when I've got five minutes and listen to the latest tracks. And I actually bought one today from Nina um, Protocol, which I love. I absolutely, It was a dance track, I absolutely loved it. And, you know, it was like $3.60 and it was, I think, out of 20 editions and no sales. I was like, I'm going to buy that, you know. There's also Audius, which is very similar to SoundCloud in that respect, but built on Web3. Super Collector and Emanate as well. Emanate I've featured before. Then we've got the blockchains. Can you see how much information is coming from these fantastic slides? So thank you, kudos to Ben for doing this. So you've got Ethereum. Now Ethereum, I typically I use OpenSea, but Sound XYZ, there's a lot of them on Ethereum. There's Polygon. I'm very passionate about Polygon, but it is a second tier to Ethereum. So it's a second level, if you like, and Polygon you know, on OpenSea is still, I think, gas-free. But, you know, you can mint on there for next to nothing. But then there's Solana, and Solana's coming quite new to the market. But Solana's fantastic. Then you've got Tezos, then you've got Flow, and then you've got Arweave. And I have featured those as well. All of these are featured on my channel. So it's good to see it as, as one um, slide, which is fantastic. Then we've got part two. Now, this is about artist tools, production, and DIY protocols. So in here, we've got things that are open to all artists. So for example, Catalog was built from the technology built off Zora, which is really interesting. Now Zora, a lot of musicians will actually mint on there, similar to OpenSea, and uh, I like that platform, but I'll be honest, I haven't done many Zora things. I think I did a couple of videos on Zora, because I know that's one of the only platforms where you can actually put big music videos on there. But then there's Decent.xyz, then there's Sound Protocol, which I've just discussed about Sound XYZ, about what they're doing, releasing their smart contracts. Then there's Nina Foundation, um, sorry, Nina Protocol, I'm getting confused, and it is late. Nina Protocol, so I literally, um, literally, if I can get to it, bear with me. Today, I decided to go on there and actually mint, and I did actually mint my, yeah, Retro Synth Music Mixtape Side A, which I thought was was really cool. Um, so yeah, 25 minutes worth of music on there, only 10 copies available for $10. So yeah, I did that and I thought that was really cool. Okay, we're back in the room, apologies. So we've got Nina on there, we've got Sona on there, we've got Lens on there. Some of these I haven't encountered yet because this is a thing in the Web3 space. Things change very quickly and they grow very quickly as well. Such as music production and beat players, right? Arpeggi is like a door on DAW, I mean, not like a <laughs> push door. <laughs> um, oh dear, <laughs> terrible joke. So yeah, um, that's one way to actually produce music, but there's Endless, Secret Garden, Everwave, Spores, doesn't sound that appealing, but I'm sure it's fantastic, and StemsDAO, and I've heard of StemsDAO as well. Just, just great that that's growing now. And then look at all of the tools that you've got available to you. So Bonfire is is really cool, like a landing page that you can have. There's Telly, Fuel, Hey Mint. I don't know what some of these are, being completely honest. Create Operating System OS, Reveal, OX Splits, Async Music. Is it Dopper? Mirror. Mirror is great for, for blogs and um, yeah, articles. Love Mirror really informative. Bello, Sound Picker, Vault, and I've actually used Vault for Cyber Monday and Cyber Friday, Cyber Friday's EDM music that I produce. And yeah, you purchase on, I think it's on Solana, and you purchase NFTs, and they become keys that unlock your Vault, and then you're able to, as a fan, you're able to find that exclusive material, whether that's video, music, or audio. Music OS, I like that one. I featured that on, on this channel as well. Showtime and Dot Records. It's amazing how much stuff. I mean, I'm finding it challenging to keep up. Now look at the indie labels that are coming up. Goodness me. There was a handful, less than a handful last time I checked. So Neon Gold, Hume Collective, Chillux, and Vac Collective, Next Wave, Coop Records, so Cooper Trooper has his own record label. He's got funding, seed funding, I think, for his uh, launch of his artists. So that's exciting to see what happens. 
Soul Action, there's Munster Cat, I've heard of Munster Cat players, Zero, Dreams Never Die, Sad Boy Records. That's a cool one, isn't it? That's a really good idea. I wonder if there's a general theme with that, it'd be interesting. Million Records, A Future Modern and Dow Records I've heard of, and Bitwax as well. Uh, Rory uh, runs Bitwax, he's, he's a cool guy. So yeah, he's, uh, he's a great guy in terms of um, understanding Web3 as well. And he's into dance music as well, from the UK. Then we've got major labels. We've got Warner UK here. We've got Death Row, probably a label, and 10.22 p.m. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's a really clever name, 10.22 p.m. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, goodness me. Then if you're doing live events, there's certain things that can help with that. So there's Pope, I think. <laughs> Is it Pope? It's basically where you can give away tokens for fans coming into your space or people coming onto your Twitter space, for example. Yellow Heart, Superfest, and Get Protocol. Wow, I'm just blown away with the amount of stuff going on in Web3 right now for music. And this is just music, guys. This is just incredible. So there are more. So let's continue, shall we? Wow. So there's part four for fans, media, metaverse, and generative. So for fan clubs, there's Medallion, Aokiverse from Steve Aoki, DJ, famous DJ, Jaguar Twin, Death Bats Club. I'm not going to say that, guys. I know you were waiting for me. I'm not going to say it. And <laughs> Taicho, is it Taicho? Taicho. Then there's Media. Water Music has to be one of the most informative platforms that really research web theme music and i mean down to a t their statistics their articles that they do they do a subscription service if you're interested incredible there's also mint uh, mint's got their own youtube channel just just he's a great guy um there's so many amazing interviews to check on mint so make sure you check out that channel if you haven't already nft now underground violet rave Noise, Future Surf, Arjun Rights, and Wav World. Then we've got the Metaverse, which I'll be honest, I haven't explored. I don't think much at all, to be honest. We've got Relics, we've got Pixel YNX, Pixel Linux, MVMF, Decrescence, Decrency, Decrescency, Decrency, Decrency, Decentraland, and sound, Sandbox. Oh god, I was going to say Sandbox. Oh gosh. Then we've got generative music, warp sound, beef foundry, sound mint, block tones, deaf beef, Euler, OX music again, and OMG Kirby. Just blown away. Part five, which is a brief crypto music history. OGs, I'm not going to go through them all, but they're there. Early platforms in the space. We had Rareable, Mint Base, Known Origin, Nifty Gateway, Async, Super Rare, Maker's Place as well. Yeah, so I remember these from last last year as well. Then we've got resources such as the Music NFT Archive. We've got Genius Corp Exhibition as well. And then part six for really popular artists in the space, collectives and music projects. So we've got Verity. Verity's doing really well on sound. We got Blau. Blau has recently had a, I think, well, it's in the news. I'm not going to go too much into it, but it's potentially being sued at the moment. But Blau is the founder of Royal. Matthew Chain, Spotty Wi Fi, cool guy, Snoop Dogg. It's just been incredible in the space, to be perfectly honest. Latasha and, and everybody else. Then we got Dias Collectives, Incubators, Noise Dias, Song Camp. It's just a minefield, really, of. of um, the amount of platforms that are currently out there. So I would encourage you to just research. Twitter is a great place to, to really kind of delve into how many followers this project's got, you know, um, how useful they can be for your needs. Maybe you're a fan. There's virtual artists as well that feature in the virtual world. There's music projects as well. Wow. And part seven, which are ones to watch. Releap is very interesting. I have featured that on the channel. Um, and there's many more to explore. Mm, that rhymes, doesn't it? Distribution, Venice Music, Nifty Tunes, and Unchained Music. And there's even agencies now. Gosh, C T H D O L, Cathedral, and Six as well, with a little smiley face with the with the Zs. Gosh, I realise that no ecosystem map or curation will ever please everyone. Well, I'm super happy with it. 
but I think we should try it openly in the community. Send me any major omissions or corrections by Sunday and I'll try my best to accommodate. Just amazing, Ben. Just just kudos to you. Honestly, just so amazing. And I know there's he's made revisions. Fair enough. There's, there's lots more to add in here. Just check out the Twitter feed if, you, <laughs> if you're interested. Because I'm not going to go through it all now. Um, but yeah, doesn't that show you how much... Just what an exciting, fast-paced place to be in in Web3 music. It is fantastic. Um, so yeah, there you go. Hope you like this video. Definitely one to check out. Lots of platforms to check out for me as well. And as you know, I will try and feature as much as I can on this channel. And a subscribe, as I said before, will be appreciated. Please like this video. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite platform. I would love to know, honestly. There's so many now. You know, what's your favorite platform? Is it is it OpenSea? Is it a music NFT dedicated platform that you love the most? Let me know, guys. A lot of people love Sound XYZ, and I'm, I'm quite a fan of that one. Um, but I, I shouldn't have favorites because I've featured over 40 platforms on this channel now. And I'm loving every minute of it, I've got to be honest. And um, things are really exciting. Hopefully there's some events that I'll be able to go to in the near future. I think in London, mainly in London. Uh, which will be really cool to see some of you guys there if you're available. Uh, it'll be ace. I love meeting up with people. It's really good. And uh, when I did a recent talk on stage on a panel of three, four people, I think, including myself, that was at Tall Yard in London. It was just great to speak to people after um, the event and, and just find out where people are coming from and, you know, what people are interested in and questions. So I appreciate each and every one of you in the space. And you, you look at those those apps and, and you start to realise there's more and more musicians coming on board now, which is great to see. So enjoy it, you know, experiment, research, don't burn out, experiment and enjoy it. And that's what Web3 is all about and, and get, you know, um, a community together. That's probably the best thing you can. If you want to check me out, it's nftmusicinfo.com, which is always on the screen. So, but check me out. It's Discord on there. All of my projects on there. Even my book on Amazon is, is on there. So whatever you're interested in, check it out. And I'll speak to you on the next one. Take care. Bye.